Now, one of our country's most popular insects is in trouble. The monarch butterfly as caterpillars, as babies, they have just one food source and that's milkweed. This plant isn't taking up as much space though as it used to. Look at that big orange and black butterfly. You know the one. They don't always give you a lot of time to watch and admire because they're on a mission. The monarch butterfly is an insect with one of the longest migrations. Take a look. The eastern population travels through North America and ends up in Mexico. Then they go right back. Texas is the gateway for both trips. So we're kind of in an important crossroads for monarchs. In the springtime, monarchs stop in the coastal bend to breed. Monarch caterpillars are dependent on this thing called milkweed. It's the only plant they eat. Unfortunately, milkweed is getting in shorter and shorter supply. For multiple reasons, here are a couple. Increased use of pesticides. I think just not as many people are planting it. The roaring wind is a sign we need to shake things up. Make a gardening change for the monarchs. Things are not looking great. Rebecca Zerlin is a self-described bug nerd. That was my hair. Did you spot the butterfly on her arm? That's how you know this expert has a true passion. Thanks. She and other researchers around the world are watching a pattern that shows a decline of insect populations because of climate change and pesticides. Stick it on. I'm looking at how prescribed burning affects sure butterflies in South Texas. Burning is such a useful tool. It can help remove uh, Old, old vegetation that's dead um, and clear way for new vegetation to grow. Growth is also happening here. So we are downtown Kingsville in the Xeriscape Garden. This is a monarch city. The city uh, just got certified, I want to say within the last couple of years. We have quite a few butterfly gardens all around town. And this is all you need to build your own. Every year about this time, you know, we get a lot of calls for uh, milkweed. We sell a lot of it because people do like the butterflies. Bees shipped in from just south of Dallas. They're a hot seller. Trent Hoffman tries to keep them stocked throughout the season. You can see the vibrant colors here. This is where the nectar is, is inside the plant. So this is what attracts the pollinators. You usually don't want things to eat your plant, but in this particular case, eating a plant's a good thing. All you need is a $10 bill to save an elegant creature on the brink of crumbling. I look at it as a as a plant that is actually useful and, and, and it actually helps the environment and, and, and you know, just kind of keeps the life cycle going. Now, according to monarchwatch.org, there are 73 species of native milkweeds here in the U.S. Many of them are rare, threatened, and endangered. And now the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is pushing for one species belonging to Texas right here called prostrate milkweed to be added to the endangered species list.